Now, Lake Cumberland wasn't always a recreational paradise. The creation of the Wolf Creek Dam turned a reservoir into what you see today. GDL's Nyla Spencer caught up with the team at the Kentucky Historical Society to learn more. So we've been enjoying learning all there is to know about Russell County, visiting all the places, but now we want to learn a little bit more. So we are with Dana Zinger with the Kentucky Historical Society, and she's going to tell us about the history of this county. So first things first, Russell County, who was it named for? So Russell County was named for Colonel William Russell III. Um, he was an early settler in Kentucky and also served in the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. Interesting. And tell me, what's the significance of Jamestown? So Jamestown is the county seat of Russell County. Mm -hmm. um, it was previously known as Jacksonville, um, named after Andrew Jackson. But in the 18, I think 1820s, the name changed to Jamestown. And at that time, it was named in honor of James Wooldridge, who was a landowner that donated land to create the city. Wow, that's really interesting. So tell me, over the last 200 years, what has Russell County been known for? So Russell County has been um, a center for industry and manufacturing all the way back to the 1790s. Wow, and so tell me about some of these industries that are right here in Russell County. So um, previously, um, there were wool mills, cotton mills, paper. Um, in the 1920s, there was a big oil boom in Russell County, really? which is really fascinating. Yeah. Um, and during the 19th century, probably midway through, mm -hmm. um, there were there's a lot of mineral springs in Russell County, mm -hmm. and so a lot of resorts popped up around those springs. I can imagine because people liked the healing waters, mm -hmm. um, and also um, it gave them a place to go and cool off, kind of like today with, with Lake heat. Cumberland, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, so really, the same way. That's awesome yep. to hear that. So. You talked about Lake Cumberland. That's the one thing that I was hearing about when we were visiting Russell County a lot. So tell me, what about Wolf Creek Dam? What's that? So the significance of Wolf Creek Dam, it created Lake Cumberland, mm. which now is just a huge economic driver for the whole region. Um, major tourist attraction, four million visitors per year, um, over 119 million in revenue mm -hmm. coming from those visitors. Mm -hmm. um, but Wolf Creek Dam, it, it was built started in 1941 by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers mm. and concluded in 1952. Mm -hmm. There were a few years in between where it was, the building was halted because of World War II, so. Oh, okay. That's so interesting. I could sit here and talk to you all day about the history <laughs> of Russell County, but I wanna know if people wanna continue this conversation, learn more, what's the best way for them to learn more information with you guys? So if you visit our website, history.ky.gov, we have a vast collection of online archives, um, both objects and uh, photographs, manuscripts, things like that. Um, you could put in Lake Cumberland as a keyword, you can put in Russell County, um, however you want to search. Um, a couple things that I'll share today. We do have two postcards from our Ronald Morgan postcard collection. Interesting. Um, they are of Wolf Creek Dam back in the very beginning when it first opened. Wow. Um, and the Ronald Morgan collection features over 11,000 postcards collected over a 10-year period. Really? Um, and pretty much cover I think all 120 counties in Kentucky. Um, and if you visit our social media, you will see that we're starting a campaign where we're featuring a different postcard every three days.